Below the woman is a steep slope, but she's not afraid of it. She jumped over the fence, pick up parachutes from passers-by while gliding through the snow, and the woman successfully took off. She tracked the fleeing enemies at the foot of the mountain. She was in danger during the flight. Suddenly the woman's parachute was blocked by the cable. She had no choice but to cut the parachute. She slid down. Finally she arrived at the foot of the mountain. She immediately started fighting mode. She eliminates the enemies around her. A woman named Rueli is a hacker. She arrived with the team a few hours ago, on a mission in a snow mountain resort in Italy. At this moment, the arms dealer Jack and his younger brother came for vacation. But he doesn't know, there are four agents nearby who are planning to capture him. Rueli as a tactical foreign aide, her mission is to hack into the bar network, let the team members responsible for the action act successfully. However, the bar network does not support external access, so she disguised herself as a tourist. She plans to start with the bar's insider network. Her target is the security chief, but Rueli needs to be within three meters of him before she can act. Team members prepare gambling chips for Rueli. She got the chips and set her knee down at the card table. A team member deliberately called the supervisor. Rue Lee took advantage of the supervisor's distraction to quickly hack into his mobile phone network, but the security discovered Rue Lee's behavior, immediately came forward to check. Rue Lee switched the phone screen in time to get rid of the suspicion. Rue Lee responded quickly and found the opportunity to leave decisively. After Rue Lee connected to the bar network, she uploaded the photo to the facial recognition system. She completed this crucial step. Team members come past the security check. This gives them access to the casino, the heart of the bar. But when they came here, they made a surprising discovery. The bet here is actually guessing the death toll. The source of the data, it's the real-time military operations of the Navy SEALs. She didn't expect this small casino can break military-grade encryption systems. Their discovery was undoubtedly an unexpected gain. But right now their mission is to, to capture Jack who is participating in the gambling game. The team members took out the reagent and approached Jack. Her actions were discovered by the bodyguards. The casino was in chaos for a while. Jack realized something was wrong and ran away immediately. After the two subdued the on-site bodyguards, team member Parker hurriedly caught up. He puts on night vision glasses. With Rue Lee's help, quickly find Jack's escape route. Parker killed two bodyguards one after another in the secret passage. Jack was successfully captured by him. Just when he called his team member Bailey to pick him up, there was an unusual sound coming from the headset that several people were talking to. A female voice came from the headset. No wonder bars can crack military systems. It turns out there are powerful people here. It's just that after their communication system was cracked, there is no secret to their actions. Then a few people agreed to meet at the platform at the foot of the mountain. They disconnected the headsets. Parker takes Jack on the cable car. The driver Bailey rushed to the hotel to pick up the other two people. It's just that when Rayleigh left, she found a young woman. She actually took the initiative to signal to her. She didn't have time to step forward and ask. Rue Lee and her teammate Miss Yang ran towards the door. While the two of them were waiting for the bus, Miss Yang discovered Jack's bodyguard at the bottom of the mountain, moving quickly towards the cable car station. They were worried that the bodyguards would arrive at the platform first. That would be dangerous for Parker. In this race against time, Rue Lee pretended to fall accidentally, and Miss Yang is eager to save people. She felt that Rue Lee couldn't help either hurrying to the foot of the mountain by car. But she doesn't know, Rueli has hidden another identity. And her next move, she is also preparing to save Parker. Rueli calls her mysterious teammate James. James via spy Hart's real-time data. He found that there were people who had just landed not far away, then help Rueli plan the route. Rueli is convinced of this. It's just that she just jumped. She found someone else's parachute that had been taken off. Rueli with remote help from James, find the sweet spot for takeoff. However, Miss Yen is still halfway up the mountain at this moment, but Jack's bodyguard has arrived at the cable car station. Rue Lee just hopes to reach the platform before the cable car. This way, she can take out a few bodyguards first. It's just that Rue Lee never thought of it. She encountered a cable protruding during the flight. Her parachute also got tangled up. Rue Lee decisively cut off the parachute, sliding fast on the cable by leaning on the rope. But there's no way she can keep sliding like this. She soon spotted a snowmobile riding below. Rueli found a suitable spot and dropped to the ground. A kind-hearted rider came forward to check. Rueli didn't have time to explain to him the reason. She snatched the motorcycle and left. However, Jack, who was still on the cable car, was very restless when she found the opportunity. She wanted to fight back against Parker. During the fight, the two people, the platform bodyguard has discovered this scene, pulled the trigger to rescue the boss, but he didn't hit Parker, just as he was about to keep shooting. 
Fortunately, Rue Ali's snowmobile arrived in time, James turns off nearby lighting, and provide Rue Ali with the real-time movements of the bodyguards. Rue Ali easily defeated the bodyguards, until she hid the body. Miss Yen, who was riding the bus, arrived at the platform. She discovered that Jack's security was nowhere to be found. This made her very curious. Rue Li, who has accomplished such a great feat, cannot speak out. After all, her identity is very special. And then they thought they could finish the work successfully. Unexpectedly, Jack committed suicide by poisoning, since the team failed to bring back Jack alive. The superiors were very dissatisfied with this. Although their mission failed, but it's not nothing. The mysterious woman who invaded the communication system became the next mission target. On this day, several people came to the tavern to chat. Bailey thinks the mysterious woman must be from the Special Licensing Bureau. It's just that no one from the Special Licensing Bureau has seen it. This is an extremely mysterious organization. When the country encounters something that cannot be settled, the Special Licensing Bureau was dispatched. Rue Ali is one of them though, but she can't correct Bailey's guess about the mysterious woman's identity. Then she could only find an excuse and leave first. When she got home, she called up the bar surveillance. She found that the mysterious woman seemed to have expected that Rue Li would retrieve the video in order to find all her information. Rue Li, she had to go back to the special licensing bureau. She came to a manor in the suburbs. Rue Li took out the nine of red hearts, which symbolizes identity. This is the headquarters of the special licensing bureau hearts. Support the operation of the special licensing bureau. It's a chip called a spy heart. It has a nearly perfect system. All actions taken by the licensing office are due to its ownership. It can't hack anything, anywhere, and simulate and predict the future. Query the information of the mysterious woman. Of course it's a no-brainer. Mysterious woman named Kaya. She's an orphan who was raised by a wealthy man. She's good at computer programming. She knew Jack had a gambling problem, so she deliberately hacked into the military encryption system. She opened a bloody gambling bureau to attract Jack. It's all because Jack has a cutting-edge quantum weapon. If she is paired with a spy, she can't invade anywhere in the world. It seems that Kaya has great ambitions. Then, through Kaya's existing data analysis, there's a 96% chance that she will go to Portugal for a ceremony. Rue Li wanted to capture her as soon as possible. James leaked the information to MI6. In this way, several people can continue to perform tasks together. It's just that they came a little early. There are still four hours until the ceremony. Several people are waiting at the safe house for agents are dancing in the house. However, in the next second, an iron lump broke through the window and entered. Fortunately, the power of its explosion is not great. Rue Li stood up and quickly connected to the spy's heart. James behind the scenes saw Rue Li's situation clearly. At this time, multiple tillers are breaking into the building, but Rue Li is a hidden agent of the Special Licensing Bureau. She can help the team members at this moment. In order to cover her, Miss Yan, a team member, took up arms and dealt with the killer. Miss Yan signaled Rue Li to leave quickly. Rue Li found the opportunity and came to the window sill to escape. But Miss Yan's screams came from inside the house, which made Rue Li unable to bear to leave. Rue Li turned back again after weighing the situation. She can take care of so much at this moment. She took action in time to save Miss Yan in crisis. Rue Li defeated the enemy easily. Then the group got into a car and fled. But the killer caught up again. Rue Li asked Miss Yan to take up arms. She saw the right moment and quickly turned the car around, causes teammates to shoot each other with enemies on the opposite side. Rue Li found a narrow path so that the chasing vehicle could not dodge in time. Although they escaped the killer's pursuit, but Rue Li's identity can no longer be hidden. She was forced to admit her hidden identity, but she had noble intentions in infiltrating MI6. Just as she was explaining, Parker took out his pistol and shot the rest of his teammates to death. Rue Li was stunned by the sudden scene. She never expected it. The biggest enemy is actually the teammate who fights side by side. Rue Li found the opportunity to fight back decisively. Parker scratched Rue Li, but was pinned down by her and threatened with a knife. The defeated Parker didn't hide it either. It turns out that Jack, who was captured before, was poisoned by Parker, and the mysterious woman, Kaya behind the scenes, is only following Parker's orders. He deliberately revealed his flaws, just to lure out the top agent of the Special Licensing Bureau. His ultimate goal is to steal the spy's heart. Parker explains the truth. Rue Li was easily pushed away by him. It turned out that in the fight just now, Rue Li was scratched by Parker's dagger coated with anesthetic. In this way, Parker can carry out the next crazy plan. A tiny chip was implanted in Rue Li's arm. Parker completed this step and left decisively. 
When Rueli wakes up, she has been sent to Hart's headquarters, just not long after. The Hearts team system was compromised by hackers. This made the king of Hearts very confused. This signal is the chip in Rueli's arm, until it was completely damaged by Rueli. Only then did the intrusion alarm stop. However, although Rueli managed to save her life, but she ignored the rules and exposed her identity, causing the Bureau of Special Licensing to become known to Parker. The king of Hearts could only suspend her. Then she found the other three kings, and explained the situation of Parker's rebellion. They decided to eliminate him no matter what. The king of clubs decided to send the elite personnel to capture Parker as soon as possible. And on the other side at this time, Rayleigh came to the home of the deceased team member, Bailey to feed the cat. She looked at the sticky note on the computer with the words my written on it. This caught Rayleigh's attention. After searching carefully, he, sure enough, I found a suspicious code. She dug further along this string of numbers and made huge gains. She has the real-time location of Kaya's notebook. Rueli learned that Kaya went to West Africa, take a plane and rush there immediately. At this time, Kaya is working with Parker to snatch the spy heart. They invaded the spy system again. James can turn off the spy system. He can only be controlled by Kaya at will. Parker and the others lowered the spy cabinet from a height of 10,000 meters to the designated height. Then the two took a helicopter to the top. The King of Hearts was very anxious as he watched the two people open the hatch. She wants to send team members to stop it, but it's too late. Just when the Red Heart King was lost, Rueli took a plane and arrived above the spy cabinet. She put on a parachute and jumped out of the plane resolutely. Although James has no control over, but he can still observe the situation around him. Rueli successfully arrived at the inner cabin of the spy cabinet, but it's still a step too late. The spy's heart was successfully taken away by Kaya, although she and Parker are in the same group, but in order to prevent being betrayed by Parker, she added a protective program to the spy heart, then she and Parker slipped out of the cabin. It's just that Parker was ruthless and wanted to kill Rueli after detonating the spy cabinet. Unexpectedly, Rueli grabbed the rope and escaped from the explosion zone. Rueli cut the rope and fell down with Kaya. However, the parachute opened, but a corner of it was burned down by explosives. This also greatly reduces its carrying capacity. Fortunately, the landing place is a desert. The two of them did not die from this. When Rueli opened her eyes, Kaya pointed a gun at her. Rueli took the pistol back with great skill. Rueli didn't kill her in order to get her spy heart back faster. Two people walked out of the desert and met a car. They hitchhiked to a nearby village, but Rueli kept an eye on it. She left a locating chip on Kaya, just in case she slips away halfway. In a blink of an eye, they arrived at the village where the driver was, but they haven't gotten off the car yet. Rueli was attacked by a weapon. She saw that it was not appropriate to fight forcefully at this moment. When she found the opportunity, she ran away decisively. Rueli saw water nearby. She dived into the water to avoid pursuit. It turns out that all this was a good thing done by Parker's men. The female driver was also killed by the killer. Rueli, who escaped, climbed onto the shore, but a strange woman came looking for her. She is six of hearts. She was sent by the king of hearts specifically to help Rueli. They discovered through location that Kyle was heading to Iceland. Rueli took the plane and hurriedly caught up with her. However, the special licensing bureau is already in chaos. They were afraid of Parker's crazy revenge. The king immediately left the key personnel to the military air defense base. Command actions here. However, Parker has a powerful computing database with a spy mine. The first thing Parker did was find the King of Diamonds. It was the bombing order she gave that year. As a result, all the team members died tragically. At this moment, she's taking her family into a safe house, but Parker controlled the elevator to fall for no reason, causing the tragic death of the King of Diamonds and his family. Parker and Kaya originally agreed, just using espionage to expose their oddliness. Kaya didn't expect Parker to use it to kill someone. Kaya discovered in horror, the King of Clubs is taking the initiative to get closer to the base. She also found the King of Hearts hiding in the bunker. Parker first closed the entrance and exit of the bunker. Even the ventilation system was cut off. People can only sustain oxygen for an hour in such a small space. Just as Parker strangled them one by one, Rueli finally arrived in Iceland. She learned that the King of Hearts only had an hour. She stepped on the accelerator and quickly approached the base. However, she received a call from Kaya on the way. She told Rueli not to drive in the planned direction, because that's a trap sent by Parker. Rueli couldn't believe Kaya at first, until Kaya sent her real-time location. Only then did she quickly change direction. At this time, the King of Plum Blossoms has already led people into the base. No matter how Rueli reminded them, 
She got no response. It wasn't until the king of clubs discovered the locator on the seed that he realized something was wrong. Parker enjoys the feeling of manipulating spies to kill people. It's just that the spy system suddenly lost signal. Only then did Parker realize that Kaya had done something. He looked around the base for Kaya. Kaya is captured by Parker. Parker forces her to deprogram the jammer. She turned around and found that Rayleigh had already rushed over. She pretended to agree to terminate the program. They came to the location of the spy heart. Parker saw the heat on the glass and noticed that a third person had invaded. Rayleigh wanted to make a sneak attack, but Parker was prepared. She could only put down her weapon. Kaya took the opportunity to break free. She pulled out the steam pipe and splashed Parker in the face. Several people start the final decisive battle here. Kaya hands Rayleigh the weapon. Rayleigh shot and killed the enemy. Fortunately, they restored the spy system in time. In the end, the organization originally decided to send Kaya to jail, but Rueli knew she was just being used by Parker. She took Kaya into consideration and decided to take her under her wing because of her good hacking skills. Ghost Card as Kaya's code name, Rueli reorganized the team and started a new round of spy missions. This is the female equivalent of mission. Impossible. What do the audience think? Welcome to leave a message in the comment area.